Ladies and Gentlemen, liebe Pelikane, willkommen zu Life is Strange. Wir sind endlich bei der fünften finalen Episode angekommen. In Episode 4 werden wir gleich sehen, was sich da zugetragen hat. Es gibt ja mal einen kleinen Rückblick, den ziehen wir uns jetzt rein. Und dann steigen wir locker flockig in Episode 5 ein und gucken, wie das Spiel zu Ende geht. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Das habe ich auch nicht gesagt. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Oh no, Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? Boom, headshot. Wir hätten es wissen müssen. Es ist immer der Lehrer. Polarized. We chill. We are really entspannt. Uns geht's gut. Ja, wir kommen hier nicht. Is anybody out there? Max, das ist unsere Fall. Das ist die Spritze. Ach. 
Oh, finally, I'm free. Almost. Looky, looky. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. The tip is so fucked up. Holy Hold that shit. Chair, then. Stay still! My shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move. Oh. Hey, <sighs> much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard, but you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. Boah, da kriegt ja richtig einen hoch. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room... Is under 24/7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. She. Chloe. Chloe, right? Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, Ach, wir irgendwas machen? Do not move Nein. so much. Okay. Ich, dachte, I ich dachte, wir können irgendwas machen. My way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. So. Jetzt bin ich zufrieden. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. I 
can't believe that happened. So sick. Okay, that's so fucking interesting. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Whoa, I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good, this might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner i had enough of those faux punk sluts in my seattle days Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> That struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. That makes two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him! I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. Oh, shit. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. <clears throat> Rachel Amber. Hmm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Yes. Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. 
I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. Actually, I it's didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh. What is so appealing? Or to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Warte, heißt das, ich muss jetzt... Ah, das macht keinen Sinn, oder? Das Rewinden. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. With a heart, a I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started Max. this insane week. Was in a month. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that and let you try to answer one more. 
Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well, thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly, Max doesn't have the uh, time. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. To change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be fetted by the First, Let's photo make it real easy to capture Mark Congress Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. Okay. I have to warn David about Jefferson <clears throat> and the dark room. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in the class is starting in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. By putting yourself out there in the world, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this book... You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. I have my moment in the camera. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson... You'll be going to prison. Ladies and Gentlemen, das war ein sehr wilder Anfang von Episode 5. Gut gefallen. Mal gucken, wie sich das jetzt alles weiterentwickelt. Wir sind wieder am Montag angelangt. Unglaublich. Am Anfang, wo das Spiel angefangen hat, da sind wir jetzt wieder. Und in der nächsten Folge schauen wir, wie es weitergeht, wie wir das alles twisten werden und alles. Ansonsten vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen, haut rein und bis zum nächsten Mal.